More criticism for San Francisco's district attorney, Chesa Boudin. This time it's coming from a judge. Investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken tells us the timing of all this couldn't be worse for Boudin, who's facing a recall drive. It happened Tuesday as San Francisco prosecutors sought to dismiss a weapons case at the Hall of Justice because they had not revealed all their evidence on time. Superior Court Judge Bruce Chan took the highly unusual step a publicly blasting district attorney, Chesa Boudin. According to the transcript, Judge Chan said he spoke out in the forlorn hope that someone in the DA's office might pay attention. While the veteran judge says he wholeheartedly supports justice reform efforts, he complained Boudin's office is beset by chaos of constant turnover and management reorganization. In the process, it's neglecting the fundamentals of competent professional prosecution. I cannot express in any more certain terms my disapproval of the manner in which the office of the district attorney is being managed, the judge said. We simply cannot have the current levels of inadvertence, disorganization, and expect there to be any public confidence in what we do here collectively. He concluded, it's time to really take care of business at home instead of thinking about the national or state stage. Individualized consideration of these cases Individualized justice requires no less. Chan's remarks were quickly seized upon by backers of the ongoing recall drive, who say they already have the more than 51,000 valid signatures needed by next month to put the recall before voters next year. Fancies himself a national figure, perhaps he is, but San Franciscans are very concerned and dissatisfied with his performance in San Francisco here at home. Boudin's office says it has already started to retrain prosecutors in light of evidence disclosure concerns. As for Chan's remarks, the DA's office says it's disappointing that the judge in this case decided to air his grievances in open court rather than through the existing communication channels. According to a DA's office spokeswoman, Chan has now apologized. The court had no comment today, but Deputy Public Defender Martina Avalos who was in court on Tuesday, welcomed the judge's intervention. You know, I think if, if Mr. Boudin would really like this to be a progressive office, those practices need to change. People who are accused of a crime have the right to know what the evidence that the government has against them. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News.